Hello. As you know, these blogs are all about me celebrating 25 years in business as a professional speaker, a humorist and a magician. And I'm just telling you about some of the experiences I've had along that little journey. Well, you've heard of the expression, I've been there and I've got the t-shirt. Well, not only have I been there and got the t-shirt, I've also got, look at this, what? I got these, look at these. These are my old trousers. Look at that, they're massive, right? Now don't panic. I'm not going to start giving you lessons on uh, how to become healthy and lose weight, although there are lessons to be had from my experience of losing 100 pounds of excess flab in 100 weeks. You see, I was clearing out my wardrobe the other day and I found these trousers and they spoke to me. My trousers spoke to me. That sounds so wrong on so many levels, but let's just go with it. Uh, what I mean is my trousers reminded me of quite a few things and experiences that I had. And in particular, they reminded me of the behaviours that some of my family and friends had towards me when I'd lost the weight. I'm talking about the people who knew me when I was big and then they knew me when I was thin. Lesson number one. The number of times, the number of times I have been told, you've lost how much? Oh, that's amazing. Well done, you. I could never lose that weight. Oh, I could never do that. I could never do it. Why? Because I love my food too much. Pardon? You love your food too much? What do you think I did? Yeah, I don't like food anymore, so I think I'll lose weight. I don't like food. I love food. And you know what? I eat loads, and I mean loads, but I eat loads of the right things. Why? Because I made a life choice, and I now I made small changes, and I decided to eat the right things. I learned what to eat, and I eat lo The amount and the variety of foods I now eat is phenomenal. I love food. So that's just an excuse. You see, I didn't focus on what I couldn't eat. I didn't focus on what I couldn't do. I focused on what I could eat and what I could do. And that's a lesson for life. Focus on the things that you can do. Focus on the things that you have, not on the things that you don't have, that you can't do. Second lesson. The number of times I have been out for a meal with friends socially. And all of a sudden they have acquired healthy eating habits. Now, healthy eating... Instead of eating a pie and some cake, oh, all of a sudden John's around. We'd better be careful. We'd better start eating healthily. Now, little alert coming up already. Big announcement coming up. Doot, doot, doot. Announcement coming up. Warning, warning, warning. If I ever catch you eating cake, do not panic. I will not attack you and wrestle you to the ground so that I can take the cake and eat it myself. Nor... Will I run out of the room shouting at the top of my voice, unclean, unclean, unclean. I'm not going to do that. You can relax, calm down. You see, don't feel guilty. I made a choice. Life is about choices. If you want to eat fattening things, then that is up to you. I can't stop you from doing one thing or the other. If I can inspire you to be healthy, then that's great. But it's up to you. You see, people accept me for who I am. And I accept you for who you are. Your friends will accept you for you who you are. So don't start feeling guilty just because I've achieved something and you haven't. Thirdly, the number of times people have said to me, Oh, I know somebody who lost a lot of weight. And as soon as they got to the target weight, they died. Oh, or... Oh, I know somebody who decided to become really fit. Oh, and they got all muscular. Oh, they, oh, they were strong. Very strong. Oh, they were strong. And as soon as they got fit, they died. Well, I'm sorry for those people. But I've got news for you. We're all going, whether we like it or not. There are far more people who became slim and healthy and they haven't died. I mean, they eventually died because we're all going whether we realise it or not. Now, I didn't do this. I didn't lose all that weight because it would make me feel superior or because I wanted to impress anybody. 
No, I did it for me. I did it because I couldn't stand being so big for much longer. So if you ever do anything, do it for you. You don't need to impress anybody. Just do it for you. Why? Because you deserve it. And then lastly, you wouldn't believe the number of people who have shown concern and said to me, Oh, now you've lost all that weight and you're no longer big. Are you still jolly and funny? Pardon? <laughs> now, I'm sorry, but I don't believe that big people have the monopoly on being jolly and funny. Guess what? There are loads of thin people who are jolly and funny. Lesson to be learnt. Don't buy in to other people's beliefs. Just because they say that they can't do something or something should be as it should be, don't buy into it. Find out for yourself. It's your beliefs that are important and you must base your beliefs on fact. Wow. I got all of that from my trousers. So, to sum up, whatever you want to achieve, it all starts with a thought. It all starts with what goes on between your heads. Because it doesn't matter how much knowledge you have. It doesn't matter how much training you have. If this isn't in the right place, you won't achieve anything. Good grief. So to finish with, I'd just like to say, when you need it, when you really, really need it, I hope your trousers give you the knowledge and wisdom you need. Until next time, stun the world, be astonishing.